in it. Don't throw it. Blow. Remember? Why? Oh my god, this child of mine. Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Laureen for those of you that are new here and today I have my three week post-op breast reduction surgery appointment. I'm not too sure what's going on in today's appointment. I think it's to remove the clear tape that's still over my breast but I'm very glad I have this appointment because I believe I have an infection on my left breast the clear tape came off just sooner than I think it was supposed to and it basically left my incisions exposed so I'm pretty sure there's an infection I took some pictures I will insert a picture on the screen here so if you are a little squeamish and don't want to see it I would say look away right now and I'm about to post a picture and then I'm gonna post what my right breast looks like so you guys can see there's a complete difference so yeah I'm hoping that there's something they can do my incision is open so I hope I'm not gonna need like stitches again but it looks like it might so I don't know I don't know what they're gonna do I'm just hoping and praying I don't need stitches again <laughs> my appointment is in a bit the kids are just like on one this morning they don't want to get ready and now they're anxious and they're like rushing to get out the door and I'm like well now I need a minute but anyways that's what it's like when you have toddlers and you have a doctor appointment or anything in the morning when everyone's trying to get ready we're gonna head out most likely I don't think I'll be vlogging there so I will just fill you guys in after I leave the appointment and I'll let you know what happened how it goes hopefully fingers crossed it goes well what'd you do what'd you do look at all those crumbs Hello. yes look at all those crumbs <laughs> Max and the kids stopped at Burger King because they were hungry. Look how cute. Are you, oh, is it hot? Blow on it. Don't throw it. Blow. Remember? Why? Oh my god, this child of mine. The attitude. Look how cute the hats. They had them at the window and I asked and they were like, yeah, you can have them. Ah. <laughs> it's okay, blow on it. Stop throwing them. We are about to head to Target because I got to pick up some stuff. So my left breast was infected like I thought, but I didn't need stitches, thank God. So they gave me some stuff to put on it, which is this right here. And then I need to get me more of those non-hurt, non-stick gauze that I showed like uh, in a previous video. So I need to get more of those. I need to get Dial liquid soap, not bar soap and i think that's it so we're about to head to target get that and then i don't know max and the kids want to go to the mall so we'll see i'm getting me a starbucks right now i'm getting the brown <coughs> sugar shaken oat milk espresso i don't know <laughs> such a long name i don't know the name of it but we were rushing i had to get it off of max's app instead of mine because i didn't have enough funds and i didn't feel like adding so hi there welcome to starbucks are you today yeah i have a pickup order for max for what was the name? Max, M-A-X. Max? Let me check on that for you, Max. Yeah, we just did a mobile order. All right, it looks like we don't have that ready quite yet, um, but we'll see you at the window. Okay, all right, thank you. <clears throat> I gotta come back on Wednesday. After 12 p.m., the cold drinks are 50% off. Did you see that? Oh, yeah, pay attention. We gotta come back on Wednesday, cause that drink I just got, it was like $7. I could get it for like three something. Mm. <laughs> okay, so this is what it is. A venti iced brown sugar oat milk espresso. That's what it is. Why is it such a long name? But here it is, she's a beaut. <laughs> Side of Somerset. 
Leila and Amelia have ridden the escalator about five times now. Okay, so we're back home now and I think I mentioned everything that happened at the surgeon's office, my plastic surgeon's office. So I have to go back next week for a follow-up and I showed the appointment that they provided me with. We went to um, Starbucks. With we went to Target. Let me show you what I ended up getting. So this was the bandages I was talking about. I had a pack of these, but it went through them so fast. So I got two boxes this time since it's just the one breast that's upset. <laughs> There's 20 total here, so that should be good. And then I couldn't find antibacterial dial body wash. I could find the bar of soap, but I couldn't find the body wash. And I mentioned to the nurse that I had the bar of soap and she was like, no, cause the bar of soap is sitting there and getting gross and collecting bacteria, which makes 100% sense. So I was like, you're right, body wash. But like I said, I couldn't find um, antibacterial soap. I ended up getting the Dove antibacterial. I didn't even know Dove had antibacterial body wash. I went with this. I didn't even smell it. I'm sure it smells good, all the Dove stuff. I want to smell it. it. Smells good. You want to smell it? Oh, it smells yummy. You smell it? it? Smells good. So, yeah, that was all we got. It's a little bird on it. It's a little bird? It is a little bird. You have good eyes there, ma'am. So, yeah, right now I'm waiting because I had a payment plan set up with the hospital I gave birth both girls I had a payment plan set up with this like third party I guess well the hospital that I had birth that uh, was bought out and they are no longer affiliated with that third party so I called them they're like we're busy we'll call you back so I'm trying to figure out how to get back on this payment plan having babies in America via c-section is not cheap so We've just been on this payment plan. We make our monthly payments and it's just been a breeze. No headache. It automatically comes out of, you know, our, um, off of our card. And then I got an email and it was like, your account's been closed and sent back. You need to call. And I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> so sure enough, they're just like, no, we were bought out. We don't, we don't mess with them no more. So that's stressful. So now I'm just waiting for them to call me back. Amelia's napping. Layla's sitting here next to me. Um, I'm gonna get dinner started soon. I so I don't want to like get dinner started and then they call me and I'm like great. So I hate that. I hate when I'm like waiting for someone to call me back and I'm just sitting here like anxiety ridden and I feel like I'm paralyzed and I can't do anything else because I'm like this this is stressing me out that they just closed out our account and I can't no longer and it was like we sent it to collections. I was like what? Excuse me? No, we've made like payments for the last three years on time every month so by the way yeah that's how expensive it's been so i was about to get dinner started but layla has been facetiming her cousin so i just want to show how cute this is it's been the cutest thing ever so I look weird. I look like I have like no neck. This bra like not, not flattering, but let me pull my ingredients out for dinner and I will show what I'm gonna make. Okay, so my plan for dinner is to make this like sausage and cabbage thing over some rice. I'm sad though because everywhere was out of basmati rice, which is like my favorite like Middle Eastern rice. So we're gonna do jasmine because that's all I could find and we're gonna see it. We usually don't eat these kind of sausages, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna jazz it up with some seasonings and sauce and figure out which sauce I haven't decided yet. And then I don't have like regular white or yellow onion, so I have to use red onion. We'll see how that goes, but we're, we'll, we're gonna see. I've never done this before, but I kind of saw something similar on like, I think TikTok or somewhere. So I was like, I can kind of remake that. So here's the cabbage so far. Far. I'm gonna put it in the sink, rinse it off, wash it really good. In the meantime, while that's like straining, draining, whatever, I am going to cut up the turkey sausage. Oh, I think I'm gonna use this teriyaki sauce just a little bit. 
Um, I haven't completely decided yet, but we'll see once I get to that stage if I use it or not. So here's the sausage, onion, and garlic all chopped up. I put it in this pan with a little bit of olive oil and butter. And I think I'm just gonna make my rice in the rice cooker. I've usually been doing it in a pot over the stove, but I'm not feeling it today. So I think I'm gonna put it in the rice cooker. So I gotta admit, this actually looks not too bad. It looks pretty good. I usually don't, like I said, like those sausages. And then I've never really cooked with cabbage. Like I eat cabbage in my salad. I eat it raw, but I don't typically eat it cooked so but I have to admit it's looking mighty scrumptious so here is what dinner is looking like let's hold it up under the light oh yeah it looks better under the light I haven't tried it yet so taste wise I don't know but I am gonna dress it up and doll it up with some Tabasco sauce crushed red pepper I didn't add any because I wasn't sure if the kids wanted to eat but I already know they're not gonna eat all this greenery Kids are in bed. I meant to vlog our little nighttime routine and I forgot. So <laughs> that's pretty much our day. I am just going to finish up doing the dishes, cleaning up the kitchen, and then I'm gonna head upstairs and take a shower because I'm dying to take a shower after having that tape removed. It's just sticky and itchy. I just cannot wait to have a normal human being shower. So yeah, on that note, thanks so much for watching guys. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all on my next one. Bye guys.